ratio and proportion word problems. Let's now solve some word problems based on the ratio. A notebook costs rupees 9 and a pen costs rupees 15. Find the ratio of the cost of the pen to that of the notebook. First, we will write the ratio to be found out as a fraction. So, the fraction is cost of the pen upon cost of the notebook. That is equal to 15 upon 9. Now, we can keep reducing this fraction as long as there are common factors. We divide the numerator and denominator by 3 and we get 5 upon 3. Can we divide this fraction further? No. So, the ratio of the cost of the pen to that of the notebook is 5 is to 3. So, that is the answer. In a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls? First, we will write the ratio to be found out as a fraction. So, the fraction is number of boys upon girls. That is equal to 20 upon 40. Now, we can keep reducing this fraction as long as there are common factors. We divide the numerator and denominator by 10 and we get 2 upon 4. Then we divide the numerator and denominator by 2 and we get 1 upon 2. Can we divide this fraction further? No. So, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 1 is to 2 and that's the answer. In a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys? Now, with the same values, we have to find the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys. First, we will write the ratio to be found out as a fraction. So, the fraction is number of girls upon boys. That is equal to 40 upon 20. Now, we can keep reducing this fraction as long as there are common factors. We divide the numerator and denominator by 10 and we get 4 upon 2. Then we divide the numerator and denominator by 2 and we get 2 upon 1. Can we divide this fraction further? No. So, the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is 2 is to 1. And that's the answer. In a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of the number of boys to the total students. Now, with the same values, we have to find the ratio of the number of boys to total students. First, we will write the ratio to be found out as a fraction. So, the fraction is number of boys upon total number of students. That is equal to 20 upon 60. Now, we can keep reducing this fraction as long as there are common factors. We divide the numerator and denominator by 10 and we get 2 upon 6. Then we divide the numerator and denominator by 2 and we get 1 upon 3. As we cannot divide this fraction further, this is our final answer. So the ratio of the number of boys to the total number of students is 1 is to 3. In a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of the number of girls to the total students? Now, with the same values, we have to find the ratio of the number of girls to total students. First, we will write the ratio to be found out as a fraction. So, the fraction is number of girls upon total number of students. That is equal to 40 upon 60. Now, we can keep reducing this fraction as long as there are common factors. We divide the numerator and denominator by 10 and we get 4 upon 6. Then we divide the numerator and denominator by 2 and we get 2 upon 3. As we cannot divide this fraction further, this is our final answer. So the ratio of the number of girls to the total number of students is 2 is to 3. Write the ratio of 2 meters to 50 centimeters. Here, 2 meters and 50 centimeters are the lengths, that is, these quantities are of the same kind, but their units are different. So, let us express these quantities in the same units. 
So we have to convert two meters into centimeters. Two meters is equal to two into hundred centimeters. That is equal to two hundred centimeters. Now we will write the ratio of two hundred centimeters to fifty centimeters. That is two hundred centimeters upon fifty centimeters. Now we can keep reducing this fraction as long as there are common factors. We divide the numerator and denominator by ten. And we get twenty upon five. Then we divide the numerator and denominator by five, and we get four upon one. As we cannot divide this fraction further, this is our final answer. So the ratio of two meters to fifty centimeters is four is to one. Find the ratio of two fifty grams to ten kgs. Now you can see that both the quantities are of the same kind, but their units are different. We have to bring both quantities to the same units. So here we convert the kilograms into grams. Ten kgs is equal to ten into one thousand grams is equal to ten thousand grams. Now the units are same, so we can find the ratio. In a fraction, we can write it as two fifty grams upon ten thousand grams. We divide the numerator and denominator by ten, and we get the fraction twenty-five upon one thousand. Then we divide the numerator and denominator by twenty-five, and we get one upon forty. Can we divide the fraction further? Of course not. So that's our final answer. The ratio of two fifty grams to ten kgs is one is to forty. Find the ratio of forty seconds to two minutes. Now you can see that both the quantities are of the same kind, but their units are different. We have to bring both quantities to the same units. So here we convert the minutes into seconds. Two minutes is equal to two multiplied by sixty seconds is equal to one twenty seconds. Now the units are same, so we can find the ratio. In a fraction, we can write it as forty seconds upon one twenty seconds. We divide the numerator and denominator by ten, and we get the fraction four upon twelve. Then we divide the numerator and denominator by four, and we get one upon three. Can we divide the fraction further? Of course not. So that's our final answer. The ratio of forty seconds to two minutes is one is to three. Can you solve word problems of ratio now? Yes.